in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent, Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Oh, the omnipotent, Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Oh, hallelujah. Human of God, Shiketa James, you're welcome, ma'am. Uh, God bless you. Thank you so much. I love you too. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. The omnipotent. And yes, Mama, I saw your seed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I saw your seed. God bless you. May God bless you bountifully in Jesus' mighty name. May God refill your pocket in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I pray for you. You will never lack in Jesus' name. Whenever of your need arises, God will come true for you. God will come true for you. God will come true for you. In the name of Jesus. Sir Gavin, you're welcome. Sir, you're welcome. It's been a long time. I'm so happy seeing you. You're welcome, sir. God bless you. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place, Holy Spirit. Caroline, you're welcome. God bless you. Thou art welcome in this place, the omnipotent, Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. In this place, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this session. We bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for the air we breathe. We thank you for provision. We thank you for preservation. Take all the glory. Take all the honor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Woman of God, Mom Clemens, you're welcome. Mama, God bless you. Thank you for coming. I always miss the life, but not today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm happy that you're here. You are more than enough. My God is more than enough. You are more than enough for every situation. More than enough for every problem. You are more than enough. My God is more than enough. Oh, you are more than enough for every situation. More than enough for every problem. You are more than enough. My God is more than enough. Oh, you are more than enough for every situation. More than enough for every problem. You are more than enough. My God is more than enough. Oh, you are more than enough for every situation. More than enough for every problem. You are more than enough. Your God is more than enough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Our prophetic word says, God says, this is how you're going to win. And we are going to be reading our prophetic scripture for today, Jeremiah chapter 29. 
Jeremiah chapter 29, I read from verse 1. Now these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders, which were carried away, carried away captive, and to the priests, and to the prophets, and to all the people, people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. And verse 2 says, after the after that Jeconah, the king and the queen and the Enoch, the princes of Judah and Jerusalem and the carpenters and the, and the carpenters and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem by the hand of Elisa, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent unto Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, king of Babylon, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts. The God of Israel unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have cursed to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon, build the houses and dwell in them, and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Hallelujah. Build, take ye wives and beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, and they may bear sons and daughters, that he may be increased there and not diminish hallelujah and seek the peace of the city whether i have caused you to be carried away captives and pray unto the lord for it for in the peace thereof shall he have peace in the peace of the lord you you will have peace for thus says the lord of hosts the god of israel let not your prophet and your diviners that be in the midst of you, deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams, which he caused to be dreams. For the prophet, for the prophecies falsely unto you in my name, I have not sent them, said the Lord. For, for thus said the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, Pray about it for the prophecy for, for thus said the Lord that after 70 years be accomplished in Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good work and perform my good word towards you in causing you to return to your original place. And 11, this is our um, team scripture. 11 says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, that I think towards you, woman of God, Shekita, James, that I think towards you, me, you, me, you, that I think towards you, King Bethel, that I think towards you, King David, that I think towards you, Mom Clemens, that I think towards you, Caroline, that I think towards you, Sir Gavin, for I know the thought that I have towards you. Hallelujah. Say the Lord, thought of peace I receive, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Akubala it means the Lord says um, your expected end will come with these things it will come with peace and not evil your expected end will come with fruitfulness and not evil this is what the Lord says for I know the thought that I have for you the thought of peace and not of evil and not of evil to give you an expected end hallelujah glory to God hallelujah I'm reading from Jeremiah 29, and our scripture, uh, scripture is 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, and verse 11. For the thought I have for you, they are thought of good and not of evil. And God is going to be bringing you to an expected end. It means before you are going through these challenges, there is an expected end for you. It means the devil saw this expected end, and that is what they are battling with you. Not for you to get to this expected end. Hallelujah. It means regardless of these challenges that we are having, there is an expected end. And unless you put your mind, you set your mind on things above, then you are going to stay on the challenge. You are going to stay on the tribulations. You are going to stay. God says, I should read the scripture for you. That the thoughts that I have for you, it is God saying, the Bible says, say yet the Lord, that the thoughts I have for you, they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. It means God is 
about bringing you to an expected end. It means or, the original plan of God for you is that there is an expected end that is there for confidence. There is an expected end for you, Miu Miu. There is an expected end for you, Mom Clemens. Originally, there is an expected end for you, human of God, Shekita Jim. There is an expected end for us. That, that is why the devil is constantly giving us headers. The devil is constantly giving us troubles because the devil wants to remove your eyes off this expected end. You know what the devil wants you to, to, to flee from is the knowledge that you uh, that the Lord, um, the knowledge in the word of God. The Bible says, if you don't walk according to these principalities or to these words, then the devil has a hold of you. If you don't walk according to these things. So the devil wants you to separate yourself from the word of God and what the Bible says. The Bible says we all have an expected end. Now I come to realize that that is why the children of God has the fiercest battle. That is why the children of God are going through what they are going through. Because it is in the original plan of God that at the end of the day we have an expected end. Every one of us we are living, every one of us we have a goal, but our goal as Christian is eternal life. That is why the devil is trying to rip that off from, off from us. I used to always say that if the devil has his way, he would have killed us, not just by giving us bad health, he would have killed us one night and that night you will not wake up. He will kill you in your sleep and you will not be able to wake up. But what keeps you, what keeps you regardless of the things that you're going through? It is the fact that you have the knowledge of whom you are serving. You have the knowledge of whom you are serving. I came here with this encouraging words. That what is keeping you still to today, Mom Clemens? What is keeping you, Kim Better? What is keeping you, woman of God? Sheketa James, what is keeping you, Miu Miu? It is the knowledge of him. It is the knowledge of him. The Bible says, for he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. For he that it is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Today you might sleep and you are having challenges. But what is that thing that is going to keep you going? You know, a lot of times when, for example, you are in an emotional relationship, you tell the person, give me a word so I can hold on to this word. Give me a word that I know that I can hold on to. You know, people go ahead with their relationship because there is something you are holding on to. Now, this is your work with God. This is what you are holding on to the word of God that God says I know the thoughts I have for you mimic I know the thoughts that I have for you thoughts of good and not of evil it means evil is not coming from the Lord and anything that is not coming from the Lord is not going to is not going to settle in that is the that is a mind game that the devil is trying to play on us the Bible says the king Nebuchadnezzar had the children of God captive for 70 years for 70 years, but there was a day of the liberation. What kept those people for 70 years is the knowledge of him. What kept those people for 70 years was the knowledge of him. God is going to work with you according to what you know about him. If you don't know about this part of God, then you're not going to succeed in it. You don't let, you don't, you, you, that's why I always say, try to know God for yourself. So whenever the devil comes sweeping like, or roaring like a lion, you will know what to say. You will know how to defend yourself. There is going to be a day, nobody's going to be there to advise you, or nobody's going to be there to protect you. What is going to protect you? It is what you know about God. It is what you know about what he has told you. Hallelujah. Ministry of Love, ma'am, you're welcome. Mimik, you're welcome. God bless you. So, Nita Madu, so you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Please, as we are just coming in, um, can we just give a thumbs up to the video? Can we just like the video? And why not share the video? You can help somebody. You can help somebody. These are the things we are holding on to. And every day come and pass. And every day passes. These are some of those things, I tell you. Thank you so much, Miyu Miyu. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are very, the, the Bible says, don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We are not, as Christians, we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Hallelujah. 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 
And the Bible says God created man in his own image and after his own likeness. It means we are not like God. We are God personified on the surface of the earth. We all are God. But now the devil, the, the devil in a serpent form came and told the woman, if you eat of this fruit, why is God telling you not to eat of this fruit? Why is God telling you? Because God knows that whenever you eat of this fruit, you become like him. And yes, the devil was not lying. The devil says you will become like him. But whereas God made us him, God made us in his image and after his likeness. But the devil is always there playing a trick on us. That is why a lot of people fall into depression. That is why a lot of people commit suicide because they don't know the original plan of God. They don't know the original plan of God. Oh, me makes say, Lord, God, I really want to know you for myself. Yes. That is a prayer that you're supposed to make every day. There are days when I really want to talk to somebody. And I told somebody, please, I want to talk to you. And the person who wrote me, talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. And that was sunk in my heart. I told the person, please, can I talk to you? I really, I really want to talk to you. The person just replied to me, talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. That's an amazing reply. It is very, it's a very deep reply. I tell you, it is a very deep reply. And Satan told the woman, if you eat of this food, God is forbidding you to eat of this food because he knows the day you eat of this food, be, you will become like him. You will become like him. Becoming like somebody doesn't mean you are actually the person. But God said, we are him. We are him. As he is in heaven, so are we on earth. That is what God said. But the devil came and played the mind of the woman and told him, he told her, eat of this one, you're becoming like God. It reduced us to the level that we are today. I will talk to God, yes. I will talk to God. I will talk to God. I will talk to God. A lot of times we are so in despair that we don't even know what to do. We don't even know what to do. And that is why you start finding pleasure in early things. The Bible says, seek he first. Seek he first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing is going to fall in place. And every other thing is going to fall into place. And every other thing is going to fall into place. Sometimes, even if you don't want to talk to me, go and talk to Jesus. He's always there to hear you. If you know that he hears you, then he's always there to hear you. Nigella, you're welcome. Yes, Mimi, talk to him. Talk to Jesus. Go ahead. Come down from the bed. Say, Lord Jesus, the one who died for me. I trust and I believe there is a supreme being like you. I am here to talk to you. The Bible says in Jeremiah, before I was formed, you knew thee. It means this thing, this thing I am going through, I know you know about it. Lord, take it away from me. This is what I want. I want you to help me. I want to have a compatible relationship with you. That is why I am here. I don't need man's intervention. I need your intervention. And trust me, he's going to talk to you. And trust me, he is going to talk to you. A lot of time, we want to talk to friends. And sometimes, of course, sometimes the Spirit of God is going to take over. They're going to talk to us as per what God wants to us. Uh, God wants them to tell us. And some other times they're going to talk to you in their own mindset, in their own wisdom. When you are so frustrated, talk to God. When it feels like you are dying, talk to him. When it feels like you cannot take it anymore, talk to him. He is the best person you can talk to. He is the best person you can talk to. He is the best person you can talk to. And the devil is making us to understand that we are going to die poor. The devil is making us to understand that we are going to die unmarried. The devil is, the devil is making us to understand that this is how our life is going to end. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie from the pit of hell. The Bible says, God in his own infinite mercy said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. And the Bible says, the thoughts that I have for you, that is Jesus talking. That is the king of kings talking. That is the God that rules the earth. That is the God that knows the mind of everybody. He said, the thoughts I have for you. The thoughts I have for you. They are thought of good and not of evil. To bring you to an expected end. 
That is the end that God is giving you. Who is the devil to say otherwise? Who is that man to tell you you have confidence? You're going to stay. You're going to. You're going to be poor. Who is that man to tell you me you me you? You're going to die of depression. You're going to die of marriage. Who is that man? When God said, you know what unexpected end means. Don't let him tell you that lie. Mimi, don't let him. He's a fallen angel, so he doesn't have any grace. He doesn't have any glory. There is nothing about him that should convince you. Whenever you hear a word in your mind that contradicts the word of God, this is the word of God. This is the word of God. When you hear the word of God in your, when you hear a word in your mind that contradicts what the Bible says, say, this is not what the Lord is talking about me. If this were, if this was um, my plan that I would not be born. If the plan of God in my life was that he bore me to suffer, then I would not be born in the perfect place. This is not what the scripture says. This is not what the scripture says. My life has an expected end. My life has an expected end. My life has an expected end. The Bible says the power of death and life lies in the power of the tongue. Whose tongue is that? Your tongue. Whose tongue is that? It is your tongue. Mom, Jackie Belly, it is your tongue. Me, you, me, you, it is your tongue. Sheketa James, it is your tongue. Confidence, it is your tongue. It is your tongue. The power in, in, of life and death, it lies in your tongue, Mom Clement. You got to get up every day and you go on your knees and say, Lord, you said my tongue is very powerful. I speak life into my life. I speak life into the life of my children. I speak life into this business. I speak life. I speak life. And when you pray with so much audacity, God says, yes, this one is this one is the one I want. This one has a knowledge of who they are originally. This one has conquered the devil. When the devil comes, oh, because sometimes you get up in the morning and you, you remember of your age and you, you're just like, oh, I am not married. I don't have a child. I'm not married. I don't have a child. And, you, and immediately the devil knows that you're vulnerable at that time. They'll come and tell you, oh, look at this, your friend. This is your friend that don't even know God. Look at how she's amazing. Look at how she's, she, she, she has gotten married. Look at how she has kids. Look this and look that. She has a car. She has everything. You tell them. You tell the devil. I told you about the story of a man of God my pastor told us one time. He said the man of God, whenever he prays, the devil always bring him um, things in his mind. Whenever he's trying to pray and connect to God, the devil will be like, oh, do you remember this person is owing you? And he's going to frustrate him. He's going to frustrate him. And then some other time when he want to pray again, he said, do you, um, you had to go to this place. You've not got, you've not uh, gone there yet. He will say he will just be distracted. He said one day he spoke to himself and said he is going to take, the devil as his PA. Whenever he's praying, the devil says, oh, do you remember about this person? Do you remember that you have to visit this person? He's going to say, okay, I remember. Thank you. And he's going to jot it down. And he said he did that for one, two, three days. And he's, he, he said the fourth day to the fifth day, I, I cannot really say the story like it is, but this is the sense of it. He said after some time, Whenever he prays, those things don't come to his mind again. He doesn't. It means the devil don't want you to use him. It means when you are using the devil for your own good, when you're using the devil for your own good, he gets angry and then, and then he leaves you. But whenever the devil brings those things into your mind and then you nurture them, he will keep coming and you will not even pray again. And maybe that is a prayer that was supposed to change everything. When you use the devil for your own advantage, I tell you, he's going to flee. He's going to flee. The pastor said, whenever the devil says, oh, you had to go to the grocery shop, you just say, okay, go to the grocery shop. And they said, thank you. And then he continues. He continues consciously. He continues consciously. It is a conscious decision to follow Jesus. It is a conscious decision because if you let yourself, if you let yourself that, okay, God, or oh, maybe somebody should help you, you're going to fall. But it is a conscious decision to every day follow worship. It is a conscious decision. Because you know your end is an expected one. To bring you to an expected end. That is what I want you to do. Don't let the devil use you. Use the devil. He's the prince of lies. That is true. 
Don't let the devil use you. Use him instead. Whenever I want to come and blow your mind, say, oh, devil, I understand. But this is, I don't need you now. I will call you some other time. He'll be like, Jesus, Jesus, these ones, uh, these ones, I cannot use them. I cannot use them. I, they are too hot. They are too hot. I cannot use this one. I cannot use CV. She knows about the word of God. She, she already knows what she's capable of doing. She knows that I am, that she's, she's stronger than me. When you tell the devil you are, I am stronger than you. He cannot do anything. You render him powerless. That is what the Bible says. And when he wanted to attack, um, God told him, have you seen my servant Job? He said, you have blessed him with everything. You have blessed him. You have blessed him. He knows about you too much. He knows about you. He knows about your works. He knows she has, he has captured what is of him. This Bible here has everything written of you, me, you, me, you. It has everything written of you, Nigella. It has everything written of you, confidence. It has everything written of you, Ndange. It has everything written of you, Mam Jackie Belly. It has everything written of you, Mam Clemens. It has it. 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 Oh my God. It has it. I don't know who is developing the spirit of boldness in them. Be bold. Be bold. The fainted hearted will not make it in this life. You know, we are, we are in court. We are living in a very wicked world. That's the truth. The fainted hearted cannot make it. You need to be so bold. You need to be so audacious. You need to be so audacious. Hallelujah. We live in a wicked world. That if you let yourself, you are going to die like a chicken. You're going to die like a chicken. You're going to die like a chicken. You have to be so audacious. You have to take up. You have to, my God, my God. You have to sum up courage and sum up your spirit when you are praying, pray with audacity. The Bible says he has not given you the spirit of fear, but he has given you the spirit of sound mind. When your mind is sound, every other thing is going to fall in place for you. Oh, Mimik says, I never heard this type of teaching before. Thank you. You're welcome, Mimik. You're welcome. We are here because of God. And every day we pray that God is going to be releasing his word the way he's doing it right now. Hallelujah. Crush the devil. The devil says it is possible that you can crush him. It is possible that you can crush the devil. It is very possible. We are not crushing him yet because you don't know the words. You don't know what you need to do. You don't know it. Lisa Rhodes, you're welcome. Oh, hallelujah. She says, I just released my healing session via, via YouTube through YouTube here and walking in my assignment. Hallelujah. That is what God wants you to do. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It is a two-way thing. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing is going to fall in place. And every other thing is going to fall in place. Every other thing. Every other thing. Every other thing. It is going to fall in place. It is sure going to fall in place. It is sure going to fall in place. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord for you. The Lord says, this is how you're going to end. You have an expected enemy jailer. You have an expected enemy, you, me, you. Never you forget this, regardless of what the devil brings to your mind. You have an expected end. Lacey Brothers, you have an expected end. Mom Clemens, you have an expected end. Woman of God, Shiketa James, you have an expected end. Mimik, you have an expected end. Ministry of Love, you have an expected end. You have it. Abu Brahma, you have it. You have an expected end. You have it. Oh, Kanaba Shata. Erako Balatesha. Sonita Maduso, you have an expected end. Minoshe Zhang, you have an expected end. You have it. That is what the law says. You have it. Confidence, you have an expected end. Minoshe Zhang, you have it. You have an expected end. CV, you have an expected end. It can never be taken away from you. It is signed and sealed by God. It can never be taken away from me. Mom Clemens, you have it. You have an expected end. You have an expected end. You have an expected end. The thought I have for you, you are going to put yourself. The thought that Jesus has for me, the thought God has for me, it is the thought of good and not of evil to bring me to an expected end. 
to bring me to an expected end. To bring me to an expected end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leslie Tutton, you're welcome. Set my, set my mind up. Set my mind up, Lord. Set my mind up. Set my mind up. Let the devil not toy with my intelligence. Let the devil not toy with my intelligence. I set my mind on things above. 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 The devil has no place. I set my mind on things above. La kobala de shata. Ika panana na basubala de shata. Le koda da da basubala de shata. E rako pata da 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 basata. Ika pana kapana kapante te ko shata. E rako tata shapanti kapana tisha. E rako pala te te le ko shata. E ria koko pante te ko shata. E suna kapane ko shata. Lord, set our mind above. Set our mind above. In the name of Jesus. E rako tata la pala tisha. Eruka pata kapana kapana katesha ta ika no kapana katesha kapala tisha ereko swana katesha erako tata laba shata may I put my mind above and not my challenges may I set my mind above and not my tribulations may I set my mind above and not the situation that I am in set my mind above Lord set my mind above. E kolaba shatalata. I pray for every one of you. I want you all to connect yourself. From this day onward. I am well aware that I have an expected end. The devil does not have a hold of me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, as I am praying for you, say, Lord, set my mind above. Lord, set, set my mind above. From now onwards, Lord, I pray, set my mind above. The devil does not have a hold of me. In the name of Jesus. From today, their minds are being set above. From today, their minds are being set above. From today, their minds are being set above. Being set above. They are coming to the full manifestation of who they are. They are coming to know that God has set an expected end for them. In the name of Jesus, for every word that is going to contradict the word of God, I come against it in the name of Jesus. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I pray for every one of them under the sound of my voice. They are having an expected end in the name of Jesus. They are fighting their battles with weapon of war. They are fighting their battle with your word. Your words are going to go before them in the name of Jesus. Everything that contradicts the word of God, I come against it right now. Everything that attacks your mind, I come against it. I come against it in the name of Jesus. You are bigger than the storm you are going through. You are bigger than the calamity you are facing. You are bigger than the problems you are going through. In the name of Jesus. What has God told you that the enemy has toyed with your minds? And it will still come to pass in the name of Jesus. You are bigger. God has made you the biggest in the name of Jesus. You are in the same class with God. God made you in his image and out of, and 
and, and of his likeness. The devil cannot tell you otherwise. In the name of Jesus. Say, I am a God and I'm not a prey. I am a God and I'm not a prey. I am a God, I am not a prey. I am a God, I am not a prey. In the name of Jesus. I am a God, I am not a prey. I am a God, I am not a prey. In the name of Jesus, the devil can no longer use me. The devil can no longer use me. In the name of Jesus, I am a God and not a prey. Every one of you, you are going to repeat after me. I am a God and I am not a prey. I am a God, I am not a prey. The, the Lord says he has made me in his image. He has made me in his image. The devil cannot tamper with me. I am a God and not a prey. I am a God and not a prey. Oh yes, Mimik, you are doing it well. I am a God and not a prey. 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 I am a God and you're going to say it with bonus. You're going to say it like you mean it because that is who you are. You are. I am a God and not a prey. I am a God and not a prey. God made me in his own image. He made me in his likeness. It means there is nothing about God. The everything that is in God, it is in me. I am a God and not a prey. I am a God and not a prey. The Bible says, ye are gods. Ye are gods. Yes, Psalms 82 and verse 6. The Bible says, ye are gods and children of the Most High. He are God and children of the Most High. He are God. Remember your, remember that about you. Every day when you get up. Every day when you get up. Speak to yourself. A lot of people, this is what they do. Whenever they wake up, when they wake, whenever they bathe, before they step out their, from their house, say, I am a blessing. I am not a curse. I am a victor. I am not a victim. Today I will win in Jesus' mighty name. And they go out with so much with with so much joy they go out with that confidence and every other thing is just falling in place but when you go out and you are doubting whether it will work whether it will not work god is like this is not who i said you are he are god and children of the most high he are god and children of the most high he are god and children of the most high he are god and children of the most high cannabis shut up yes he are god nobody should torture you I am a God and not a prey. I am a God and not a prey. Cannabis shatter. I decree and I declare over your life. From today henceforth, you are walking to your expected end. You are walking to your expected end. You are moving to your expected end. You are moving to your expected end. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, if you are here and you've not loved, the, you've not given a thumbs up to the video, please, before we go ahead, please, can you like the video? Can you give a thumbs up to the video? Please, can you like the video? Hallelujah. I am a victor and not a victim. I am the head and not the tail. This is what you have to tell yourself. These are the words that keeps me going. Oh, Lacey Rhodes, I liked it for you, prophetess. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lacey Rhodes. I am a victor and not a victim. I am the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am blessed of God. I am blessed of God. I am blessed of God. I am God's glory personified on earth. I am God's blessings personified on earth. I will not lack. I shall be fruitful. That is what the word of God says about me. 
I shall have and have in abundance. I will have and have what to bless people. This is what the Lord says about me. I am a child of God. I am not a child. I am not a, I am not a victim of circumstance. I will never be a victim of circumstance. This is the word of the Lord for you. Walk around knowing that you are a God. Regardless. Regardless. And you are going to see how the challenges are going to fall off. The challenges are not falling off right now because we nurture them. We nurture them. We nurture our challenges. We feed them. We feed them. Some of us, because you are, we are not married, you, you keep on feeding it. When the, the, when the idea comes into our head, into our head, we, we keep telling ourselves that maybe, maybe that is, it. maybe that is it. Maybe I will stay like that. Maybe this is how it is. I don't know. Maybe this is the word. Maybe this is what God says. Maybe this is what God says about me. You continue feeding them. You continue. You know when you just bore a child and the child is one day old, you give the child breast milk. You give the child breast milk, you feed the child, the child keeps growing. That is how you're feeding your challenges. That is why you're feeding the wrong ideas that Satan brings to you. And when you keep feeding, they, they, they grow big. They grow big. And maybe when you want to battle them, they're already so big in your mind that you cannot fight them anymore. Tell yourself. Whenever you tell yourself we got what God says, you are going to, you, you, you are suppressing it. You are suppressing that word. You are suppressing that word. And after some time, you, you will see how the words are going to fall. And um, sometimes you don't even want to think about it. You will not even have the mind to even think about that. Your mind, will be set, your mind is going to be set on things above. Your mind is going to be set on things above. Your mind is going to be set on things above. But when you have, you say, oh, I'm poor. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. The devil just uses that word and comes and say, yes, that's how you die. That's how you're dying. You're dying. You're dying. You're dying. You're dying. That's what the devil tells you. And it becomes your reality. It becomes your reality. It becomes it. It becomes it. It becomes your reality. It becomes what you are seeing. The law cannot do anything unless you walk according to what you believe in. He's only going to walk with you with what you believe. He's only going to walk with you on what you believe in. Say, Lord, help me not to feed what is not according to your will. Help me not to feed it. But when you start saying positive things about yourself, when you start confessing the word of God into your life, those challenges, they begin to fall off. Your problems, they begin to fall off. Your problems, they begin to fall off. They begin to fall off. They begin to fall off. You start looking for them, you don't see it. The poverty begin to fall off. The, 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 the status, the single status begin to fall off. When you have come to the knowledge of him, I am a warrior. Don't try me. I am a warrior. I am a fighter. Don't try me. Don't try it. Don't try it. My knees, my knees, my knees, my knees are on the ground. Don't dare me. My knees are on the ground. My knees are on the ground. Don't dare me. I am a fighter. I am a warrior. I am the, I am the daughter of a king. I am a daughter of a king. Don't dare me. Don't dare me. Kanaba shata. Inako shabalata. Eko dadabasu. That is who you are. That is what the word of God says you are. That you are the head and not the tail. What is bringing you to the tail? The wrong mindset the devil is bringing to you. The devil has fallen short of the glory of God. He, he wants to drag you along. He doesn't want to be there alone. He wants to drag you. I, why do you let him drag you? Why do you want to let the devil bring you down? Why are you, let, why are you feeding him? Why are you feeding him? God took his hands off him. So why are you feeding him right now? Why are you feeding him? Why are you feeding him? Oh, Sir Gavin, thank you so much. Sir Gavin says somebody will notice this gift and support it. Believe me to the prophetess. Amen. Amen. I receive this word. Amen. Amen. It is God. It is by the help of God. Yes, confidence. They will come to you. Say, king shall come to my rescue. Hey, 
king shall come to my rising. King shall come to my rising. I have a life. I am not dead. I am still alive. I am not dead. Hey, can, anything can happen. I am still alive. I am not dead. Anything can happen. I am a warrior. I am a child of a king. I am the daughter of a king. Hallelujah. I am a son of a king. Those are the kind of words that you have to say. As long as we are breathing, things can still happen. Within a twinkle of an eye, everything can change. I pray for every one of you. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Hey. Hey. May you come to the knowledge of who you are. May you come to the knowledge of who you are. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. King shall come to my rising. Kings shall come to my rising. King shall come to my rising. King shall come to my rising. In the name of Jesus. Kadaba subala de de debo shata. Ena kopalatea. The thought I have for you. They are thought of good and not of evil to bring me and you to an expected end, to bring you and I to an expected end. The thought I have for you, they are thought of good and not of evil to bring me to an expected end. This is what the Lord says I should tell you. And this is what the Lord says I should tell you about how your end is going to look like. You have an expected end. Never you forget that. You are the daughter of a king. You are the son of a king. Never you forget that. You are the head and not the tail. Don't feed the devil. Feed the word of God. Let it grow in you. And when your life from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet is filled with the word of God, the devil has no space. He has no space. He has no place to come around. That is what I want you to know about. That is what I want you to know. You are the daughter of a king. Don't let the devil come, come and deceive you like the way he deceived the woman. He deceived um, Eve in the Garden of Eden. I said, whenever you, when you eat of this food, God is refusing you to eat of this food because he knows when you eat of this food, you're going to be like him. Of course, we, they, they became like God and they weren't God again because God made them God. And he said, I am, and when Jesus asked them, where are I? They said, I am naked. How do you know that you are naked? Who told you you are naked? Before you met the devil, you knew everything was okay. But now the devil has come and told you you are naked. Who told you? What is that knowledge is not for you. That thing is not for you. Don't let the devil bring a knowledge into you. That is not the knowledge that God has bestowed for you. It's not the knowledge that God has kept for you. You should know only what God wants you to know. And not know everything that comes to you. You are the daughter of a king. You are seated at the right hand. You are seated at the right hand. Lerato, you're welcome. You are seated at the right hand. I am the daughter of a king. Hey, I am a daughter of a king. Hallelujah. I hope this word blesses you. I hope this word, it, it encourages somebody. Somebody that you're losing faith. You're, you're losing, you're losing faith. You're losing your belief. You're feeling like everything is wrapping up so quickly. I hope this word has helped you. I hope it has helped you. Ignatius Agwe, you're welcome. Angwe, Ignatius, you're welcome. Say, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. Talk to yourself. There is nobody that's going to do that job for you. God is changing life right here. God is releasing destiny, liberating the captives free. So far, not the wish to live, you're welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Miyu Miyu. God bless you all. I pray every day in your life. May God keep you every day. I pray every day in your life you will come to the fullness of the knowledge of who God made you to be. And I pray that from today, you will no longer feed the devil. You will feed the word of God in you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are 48 minutes gone already. Hallelujah. So right about now, if you brought an offering, if you brought an offering, you brought a seed, a love gift, I just want you to go ahead as I pray for you, as I pray for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Be thou exalted. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word, Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, receive your freedom in the name of Jesus. 
Francis Duplessis, you're welcome. Are you French? Are you French? Tell her bienvenue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you have a seat, you have your tithes, you have um a partnership, a love gift, you want to use the paper details, just go to my PayPal you, on my about, you see the paper details there. You can use that. If you want to use the live stream, just go ahead. Some of you that have been using the paper details, just go ahead and use it. If you want to use the live stream, just go ahead and connect yourself. This is my seed of freedom. This is my seed of freedom in Jesus' name. Now I know better. Now I know better. Now I know better in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, sir. All right, Gavin. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Are we having some people? We are rounding up already. Kalaladaba Shata. Isakatelebo Shata. Take all the glory, Lord. Take all the honor, Lord. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified in our lives. We thank you for your powerful words. We thank you for this revelation. We thank you for the way you gave us. Thank you, Lord. We know it is going to be creating an impact in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we having some people that want to connect themselves? Regardless of what you have, it is always good for you to have the mind of always connecting. Connect yourself. Trusting God, believing God with your substance, believing God with what He has given you. Denise Kahowell, good morning from Catenton. Hallelujah. Where is Catenton? Where is Catenton? You're welcome, Teneska. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you for coming. This is your first time. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your holy name. Please, if you're using the, the paper, let me know, all right? I want to bless you. I want to pray for your seats. I want to pray that as the Lord has opened up our eyes, he's going to be doing it for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, Mom Clemens. All right, Mom Clemens. Okay. Okay. Gavin says, hey, Gavin says, do you have your own ministry? Perfect. Says, no, I serve under a ministry. No, no, no. I serve under a ministry. Mom Clemens, okay, ma'am. God bless you. I pray for your seat. I know you will do. I pray for your seat, ma'am Clemens. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I pray for you. I pray for your children. Today marks the day, the beginning of your total liberation. Today marks the beginning of your total liberation. Today marks the beginning of your total liberation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Teneska, Teneska Howell. Where are you watching us from? Watching us from? Like what's your country? Don't tell us the town or the. Yeah, just tell us your country where you're watching us from. Hallelujah. Are we having some people? Can I pray for you? Can I pray for you? I hope you receive the word with gladness. A lot of people did not respond. Like, wasn't, wasn't the word a fine word? It did not bless you. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Woman of God, Shekita James, I pray for your seed in Jesus' mighty name. May God keep preserving you and may God take you to higher heights in Jesus' mighty name. May God take you to higher heights in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many people all over the world, I'm telling you. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. It says, United States of America. Okay, Tenaska Howell. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Mom Clement said, I was blessed. Um, Mike P says, yes, absolutely. Amen. Glory to God. Mike P says, 100%. Amen. Hallelujah. Gavin says, I'm from South Africa. Oh, God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless South Africa in Jesus' mighty name. Confidence, my baby, says, amen. I receive the word with gladness. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Mimi says, yes. Mimi, God bless you in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Nijela says, I was blessed by your word. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Ministry of love, I pray for your seed in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. May God increase you. May God increase you. God has seen your heart. May he touch you. May God do for you what man cannot do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we still having some people? I want you to have a very selfless heart. Don't think about how you're going to do it. But just trust in God. All right? Just trust in God. Today, today, I'm, I'm just going to tell you this because of the sake of what I'm, I'm saying. Um... My father in the law said um, something and it's concerning the seed. I was like, oh, I need this money to do this particular thing. Like I needed to do a contribution for my nephew. I want to get him, I want to get him something. And so I was like, now this is a, it is an opportunity for me. You know, whenever you sow a seed, it's an opportunity for you. So, and I was like, so should I sow this seed or should I just get my nephew? And I just thought, I just thought about like life is spiritual. If I sow this seed, God can give it to me. If God doesn't want money, if God doesn't want me to have money, He's going to shut the doors. If He wants me to have money, He's going to open the doors. So I just said, Yes, I'm gonna do it. Yes, I'm gonna do it. Yes, I'm gonna do it. Hallelujah. Oh wow, this is amazing. Woman of God, Mom, Mom Jackie Belly is sewing for Lacey Rodders. Wow, God bless you. This is so much love. We have a lot of love right here. This is amazing. God bless you for your heart, Mom Jackie Belly. God bless you for your heart. You know, a lot of times this happened here. You remember? A lot of times people sow, some people who sow that on behalf of this family, this is our seed. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. If you have your seed, you have an offering, you have your tithe, you have a love gift, just go ahead. If you want to use the life, the live stream just go ahead if you want to use the the um, paper details just go to my about you'll see the paper details there god bless you in jesus name mom jackie belly god bless you that this is amazing this is amazing hallelujah amen lerato says may god bless you abundantly amen amen i receive my blessings in jesus name i receive my blessing confidence my baby i pray for you Oh, confidence says, I connect myself for a job. Confidence, I pray for you. The God that gives miracle job, may he give you job. May God show you mercy and give you a miracle job in Jesus' mighty name. May God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. May God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. May God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. May God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. May God give you a good job in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mino Shejan, God bless you. Oh, Mom Jackie Belly says, I love my online family. Oh, I love you too, Mom. Thank you so much for standing with me. God bless you. Please, if you've not given a thumbs up to the video, please can you give a thumbs up to the video? Please can you give a thumbs up to the video? God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, hallelujah, me you, me you, connecting to sound mind. I pray for you, me you, me you. May this sound mind never depart from you. I curse every root of every distraction. I curse the root of distraction in the name of Jesus. I curse the root of every negative influence around you in Jesus' mighty name. And may God prosper you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Please keep liking the video. If you've not given a thumbs up to the video, please keep liking it in Jesus' mighty name. Mike P say yes. Hallelujah. God bless you, Mike P. Nigella, God bless you. Mom Clemens. Mom Clemens, God bless you. God bless Stephen. God bless Erwin. God bless Ria, God bless Regina in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, me, you, me, you. God bless you, Mom Jackie Belly. God bless you, Confidence, my baby. God bless you, Mimi. God bless you, Sunita Madusu. God bless you, Mandy Shalom. God bless you, my P. God bless you, Sir Gavin. God bless you, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I hope I've called your names. 
Amen. Ijela, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Say, so God bless. God bless you as well, Sivimboa. Thank you so much. God bless you all oh, in Jesus' name, mighty name. Always remember these prayers are going a long way. Always remember these prayers are going a long way. All right? They are going a long way. 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 Going a long way. I am a king. I am a God and not a prey. If there is one thing you're going to take out from this place, I am a God and not a prey. I am a God and not a prey. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So can we close right now? Can we close? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep praying for me, all right? Hallelujah. Please, if you've not given a thumbs up to the video, Please, can you give a thumbs up to the video? Woman of God, Shikita James, thank you so much for, you, for being here, standing with me. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, my P, here are gods and children of the Most High. Abu Brahma says, be blessed or amen. Me, me, you says, no, stay here. Oh, my God. Me, you, me, you. I need to go, right? You sound like someone saying goodbye to the life. I don't understand. Hallelujah. Okay, I need to go, right? Now may the Lord bless you. May God keep you. May God cause his countenance to shine upon you. May God be gracious to you. And may God give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, the shalom of the Lord. May nothing be missing in your life. And may nothing be broken. You are blessed of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless every one of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Mayu Mayu says we shouldn't go. You have to. I know a lot of you are very occupied with a lot of things. And I know you need to cover up. I love your family. Very, very much. So much, so much. Ministry of Love, thank you so much for my flowers and my love. Thank you so much. Thank you, human of God. Thank you so much. God bless every one of you. God bless every one of you. Bye-bye. Yes, sir, I'm going. I'm leaving. Yes, sir, we are done. Nijela, have a blessed day. Have a blessed day to a better day for you. Shalom, Mimik. Shalom, Sir Gavin. Shalom, shalom.